Boston's a great place to, to open the movie and prepare the movie because it uh, has a spirit of, you know, fun here, but also there's always creativity kind of laced within that. And I feel like this movie is that. It's fun, but also artistic in all the right ways. And so it's perfect. What I loved about this film is we take something from its natural habitat, we lock it behind firewall after firewall, and then we prod it, we provoke it, and gradually create what might become our own disaster. It's still an incredibly intense thriller and dynamic and people's choices. What is my reaction to your actions? The way you might see this creature might not be the way I see this creature. And I think for my character, because she is so organized and She's a cross of tea, daughter of I, but what happens when you break down these borders? Who do you actually become? I'm really, really excited about the whole premiere and being here is just lovely. So I work with a crew that is at the top of their game, then work with a cast at the top of the game. Rebecca Ferguson, such a beautiful actress who just was my support and really helped me through things if anything was going wrong. And, and having people like Jake and Ryan who just know everything have been in the business for such a long time, they kind of kept pushing me and pushed me to they really had A stars. I wanted to get an A star star, so I was working on that level. I'm so excited to have a premiere here, and then it's a good reunion with the other cast on the Earth. So I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I'm excited, and for me, it's a big honor to be part of this huge project. And I, I think I still don't believe that I'm in this project. A lot of people sort of think of it as space travel, but it's not really space travel. We're, we're stuck in a sort of a position and something comes to us and boards our ship that is very unique and terrifying because we don't know exactly what it is and, and it's trying to survive and there's nothing scarier than something that's just trying to survive and knows a little more than you do. So um, I think people love that. People love a claustrophobic thriller too. It's, Hitchcock started doing it and now it's you know it's been around forever. Well I think this is a total experience an immersive experience of like the I mean the whole way the movie was shot and the experience of watching it up on a big screen will be absolutely different than any other way you can experience it. I mean it's the sound and the visual effects and just the monster itself is pretty incredible. On top of that, you know, you can see our already enormous weird heads yeah. even bigger. So, the heads are massive, sometimes up to 60 feet, depending on IMAX. Metaphorically, because yeah. our egos are out of control. Out of control. Like, out literally, control. We're, our actual egos are, like, yeah. not able his, to. This writer is a novel. It's an actual novel. But it's a beautiful novel, beautifully written. Yeah.